history has shown us that big events don't happen by themselves. It's usually a small event that no one pays attention to that leads to another event that's somewhat bigger and then it all begins to snowball into the final act of whatever that event may be. This channel deals a lot with SHTF, the big one, and preparing for it. And also, to a somewhat lesser extent, preparing on how to mitigate the local or regional disasters that always seem to happen, whether it be an earthquake, a flood, anything of that nature. Excuse me for a minute. Got to have that coffee. But the ability to be able to see those small events and see how they connect to each other is an art, is a ability most people do not have because especially here in the United States, America has dumbed down the people for lack of a better term through television, video games, sports. They keep us under control in the same way that the ancient Roman Empire did. If you keep the people entertained, keep them fed, they never revolt. And lately I've watched as people are beginning to wake up and see these things. You know, you see liberals now buying firearms, uh, signing up for survival classes, beginning to prep to the chagrin of a lot of people. And I don't think that should be a problem. The more people that are prepared irregardless of their reason for doing it, irregardless of their political viewpoint, is a good thing. The staunch, most staunch liberal, if they hang out at enough preparedness classes, go to the range enough with their new gun, their perspectives will begin to turn. They'll start to see things. I have a friend who always laughed at me about preparedness, and, you know, canning food, uh, putting things up, going to the range and practicing all the time. He always said, you know, there's never going to be a time that you're ever going to need any of that stuff. The world is beyond all that now. It's There's too much global connectivity for there ever to be, you know, the kind of event you're talking about. Oh, my friend, his wife is from Venezuela. And the other day he came to me and he said, Can you help me figure out how to get started putting things back? being prepared because I'm watching my wife's home country and it's collapsed and it seems like no one's there to pick up the pieces or help out in any way you know people are standing in line for seven and eight hours at a time for food only to get robbed as they leave with the food that they were able to get which normally wasn't much and it kind of made me think about where this world is going, where people actually believe that a governmental agency or the UN or something like that is actually going to step in to stop the downfall of any individual country. And I thought about it, especially here in the United States. I've been around the world, and there's a fact that anybody that's been anywhere will tell you, and you may know yourself, 
There is nothing anywhere in the world more hated than an American. Not because we as individual Americans are such horrible people, but because of the representation that we've had. And if something were to happen here, an economic collapse, uh, a CME, uh, an EMP, you know, the list goes on and on to things like that. I believe that there would be tons and boatloads of vultures coming to pick up what was left to take as their own, but I really don't believe there'd be a lot of, of countries or a lot of places that are going to go too far out of their way in order to save us from a fall. It's a shame, but it's my opinion, it's what I think. And I don't think that I'm alone in that opinion. So it's always my advice to anybody. If you can put some stuff back, and there's no reason anyone cannot do it, and at some point I will let you know the situations I've gone through in the last few months, so that I know that even in the worst conditions you can afford an extra couple cans of corn or something to put back. You know, that people need to be prepared. You need to have food stored for yourself and for your children because nobody is going to come and save you. It's not their job, it's not their responsibility. The fact of the matter is it's your job to be prepared for your family. It's your responsibility to provide for the needs of those under your care. And beyond that, if you choose. The world is not a nice place, and no one is entitled to anything. The only thing you're entitled to is a hard time. And that's going to come no matter who you are, no matter how good of a person or how bad of a person and it's not anybody else's fault what happens to you in your life but you what you do with it and this has just been the ramblings of a semi old man and I will talk to you next time this is Dan from MSS Endurance until next time take care of yourself and each other